Hey y'all, this is your K-pop auntie Carly, and I am totally not annoyed. <laughs> My computer is running like a champ. I totally did not have to restart it so that it would just operate like a normal computer. It's fine. Not to mention, I am doing my taxes today because I totally procrastinate on my taxes because I hate doing my taxes. Leave me a commiserating um, comment if you also procrastinate until the last moment to do your taxes. Even if you get a rebate, it's like you still generally, yeah, I just, <laughs> anyways, it's fine. Maybe you know can put me in a better mood here. <laughs> Oh, and being on call waiting for a trash dumpster quote because my my grandma is old and she has dementia and my mother has made who is also retired because she's old because I'm old um has made the decision to live with my grandmother because assisted care living is really expensive and it's something that my, my mom wants to do because it's her mom and the house that my grandma lives in is almost 70 years old and she's been living there the entire time and you if you can imagine how much stuff somebody gets in their house after 70 years let alone the carpet that's been in there the entire time <laughs> we need a trash dumpster <laughs> We're going to clean the place out. Anyways, you don't care. Long introduction to say that my day is just getting started and I am already so not annoyed. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you know, make me laugh, buddy. Uh, that is loud. Let's get that down a little bit. 네, okay. 안녕하세요. Hello. Uh, 방금 자고 you just woke 가지고, up. Uh, 씻고, 네, so I'm going to wash quickly. 하겠습니다. Go get my hair and makeup done. Lovely. I guess you this is the start then. You don't, you hoes vlog, vlog started. I'm a little embarrassed because of my bare face now. You look fine, buddy. <laughs> I will go. Get my hair and makeup done right now. I like, Byung, <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a very nice transition. Good job. Byung. Oh, I'm here to get my hair and makeup done. Yeah, the view here is amazing. Oh, this is the morning in America, and I don't know about you guys, but I actually prefer um, nature. <laughs> okay, I, I understand that there's a certain niceness to the like cityscape thing going on, but for me, my eye is immediately drawn to the landscape in the back. Oh, yeah, leave, leave me leave me another comment there. Do uh do you guys prefer cityscapes or landscapes? Because to me, like I understand the appeal some people have for cityscapes like this. Like I don't like it. It looks like a city. <laughs> it doesn't look good to me. <laughs> Is it lunch anyway? I'm flustered because it's beautiful. See, it, it, it's all in the eye of the beholder. It's like that with art. It's like that with music. You know, I, I don't think that looks good. You don't think that, thinks that looks great. You know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, y'all. I'm going to the Grammy Museum today. Ah, they, this must be the day of their well, performance they put on. Sweet. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, AT. I'm going to go get ready. Yeah, it's coming already. I have to go to the Grammy Museum now. See you after I get my hair and makeup yeah, done. Makeup another <laughs> another good transition. Nice. Oh, I just got my hair and makeup done. I'm going to order lunch now. And have a meal. I hung a wet towel over there. Oh, to take care of my throat. I was... <laughs> I was going to say, there are places in the bathroom, usually, to hang up your wet towels, you know. But to take care of his throat, I'm guessing it is dry in his room, and he's trying to use it as a uh, little impromptu makeshift humidifier. I have to perform at the Grammy Museum today. Uh, so I did that, but it doesn't work well because it's too dry here. Anyway, I'll see you later when I eat. Looks good. Are we going to do another snack? No, we did not. The food has finally arrived. What I ordered today... Wait a minute, I'll open the package first. 
Providing the dramatic music, I like it. This is today's lunch. I'll be combo. I always I ordered a spicy sum, uh, sunduba sundubu jjigae. I'm trying to get better with pronunciation. Uh, with seafood. I always find it interesting when people travel and eat stuff from back home. Because when I travel, I do. I, they're like this too. Like I see them eating cheeseburgers and pizzas and all that uh, kind of prototypical you know, U.S. American food. Uh, but I always find it interesting when people you know, like eat their home food. It could be they're maybe they're homesick. I don't know, but I definitely try to eat whatever is um, kind of. Native? Is that right? Even when I'm traveling within the U.S., you know, it's I try to eat kind of something that's uh, native to the area. Um, but yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that... I, I have had, like, prototypical American food in other countries to kind of see what other countries spin on it is, because Asian food in the U.S. generally doesn't taste like Asian food from the respective countries, like, actually what, what it tastes like uh, there, you know, we, can't, we the U.S. kind of puts their own spin on it to, it gen, for instance, it's not as spicy. Um, I love spicy, though. Anyway. The ham is delicious. And uh, there's galbi too. Uh, so this is the menu. I'm going to dig in now. This place is really good. Galbi is awesome. And the jjigae is uh, really good too. With the slurping. Nice. Uh, thankfully I did it and not cool down. It's the best. I'll show you the galbi too. You know it's the best to eat them with your hands. I'll show you how to eat them. It's very soft. Yeah. That that is eating it with a chopstick, not with your hands. You know. <laughs> you can eat like fried chicken with your hands. You pick up the drumstick. It's unless that was just translation thing. <laughs> you know, it's mukbang vlog. Oh. It's the best match. I'm getting distracted. Speaking of my mother and grandmother, she's texting me because I think maybe even Wednesday is when I'm going to head over to my grandmother's house and bring all sorts of stuff. I'm going to be the first one in. <laughs> anyway, you know, we'll hurry up. And get ready to go outside. I'll see you again. I'll take a quick break now and I'm going to get in the car. See you in the car. We're gonna, we are boom. Uh, I got in the car to the Grammy Museum. The oh, weather is really nice. Today, it's actually not an early schedule. Um, the sun is setting right now. It's already 5 o'clock. Early for the sun to be going down. Yeah, I guess this was uh, done a little, probably filmed uh, earlier in the year here. So that winter, 5 a.m., Still early, but yeah. I will go to the Grammy Museum quickly. I like those masks. <laughs> those type of masks that kind of make him look like a duck. <laughs> In the back, yeah. Sung Ha Hyung, Woo Young, and Jung Ho are here. Some of the members are already there. Let's go. And in some. LA is. I think LA has a very pretty sunset as well as the night view because the buildings are pretty. I can imagine when it's all lit up at night. It probably looks... I, I, I like night views of cities much more than day views of cities. Uh, so it would be nice to go and look around. Then, I'll see you later at the Grammy Museum. More ads incoming. We arrived at the Grammy Museum, and Brace has arrived in the uh, room. That was him meowing at me way before the commercial break. Hi, dude. Brace, everyone. Uh, I'm on my way to the green room. Wow, this is, they have all the history of the amazing pop artists here. It's done really well. Yeah, I've never been out to California. It's amazing. Wow. 
Here are the cherished items of the celebrities. That's awesome. <laughs> We're at the Grammy Museum. And we are the second. Uh, we are the second K-pop band to come here. Wasn't it? Uh, actually, wasn't it BTS? I think that went there and performed. Is that right? Uh, oh, this is where the albums and LPs of Marco Antonio Solis are just displayed. Legendary. Because this is the museum. They organized the whole history of the Grammy Museum. Here's Hong Jung. I guess the style of stage outfits passed down. Oh, that's right, really. I guess the style of stage outfits passed down. There's an extra space in there. Book editor. <laughs> I'm guessing they missed something. They Because that sentence doesn't make sense. I guess the style of stage outfits passed down. Or they, they're passed down to... They get, that either means they give them to the Grammy Museum or they... They're showing the progression of the uh, stage outfits. Is that Young as well? <laughs> Isn't it similar to our outfits? That's right, people get inspiration oh, from things so. like this. So cool. Oh, yeah, Young, would you stand there? As if you are on a red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stand here. <laughs> Mr. Sung Hwa first. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good, feels <laughs> nice. Hey? Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if one day we see him at the Grammys. You look like a bodyguard. Oh, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Take a picture of me, too. It definitely has to be a goal of theirs to uh, make it to the Grammys. Oh, yeah. Actually, aren't the uh, Grammys coming up soon here? I thought I saw somewhere that um, BTS was heading out because the Grammys got um, postponed due to was variant B or whatever was going on, Omicron. I don't even know all the variants these days. They're <laughs> so many. <laughs> two years, people. Two years. <laughs> oh, this is our Sunbanims here. Yeah. Yep, there they are. I want to be displayed here too. We're having a very precious experience. Wow! Sold out. Global spin light. Hey, ATs sold out their little spot. I saw. I saw the performance that they did. So we're really displayed on this. So you're listening to music. Stevie Wonder. Green Day. Three trophies from them. Adele. I really like Adele's songs too. I like V's cover, Taehyung from uh, BTS. Covered it once. I went around the museum a little. And now I'm going to go to the waiting room and prepare for the performance to be held in front of AT and for the interview. Then I will come back. Ah, I, I didn't see the uh, interview that they did. I'm going to have to find that. Okay, when we perform later. Person who dreams to be a drummer. <laughs> this is drummer, Young Yunho. Mr. Young. Sound is uh, coming out here. You can hear me? Nope. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> Alright, so we get a bit of the behind the scenes there from his version of the vlog. Oh, yay, Tini, cheering for him. It's gotta be nice. <laughs> I'm sure they can't get enough of that after two years of being away. Yeah. Just got back from the stage at the Grammy Museum that we performed in front of ATNI. I just got off work. It was so much fun. And we got lots of questions from ATNI. It was a rare experience today. Watching the museum, our dreams have become clearer. 
it was overwhelming. Yeah, that's like uh, what what I was saying. Probably, I can imagine it's in their goal to uh, get a Grammy one of these days. And he just said it right there. Hey, things are becoming dreams are becoming more clear. To actually going into the Grammys and like to the museum and seeing it. It's that kind of day. I'm going to change clothes and wash up. I'll be back after. I will be. I will come back after getting ready for bed. Thank you for today. Then I'll get ready to sleep and come back to you later. Take a shower. Get ready to sleep. But before that, I went to the store on the first floor at the museum today. So I bought things, souvenirs. I'm going to show them to Aideeni. I gave a present to Hong Jung Young like this, ACDC. Nice. My favorite band, ACDC's pin. I didn't know he was an ACDC fan. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> David Bowie, David Bowie badge. Awesome. Magnet, a microphone magnet, which is meaningful to me. Is he going to tell me why? As I'm 80s. There are a lot of pretty and cute things like these there. I'm going to stick it on the refrigerator like this when I get home. So I bought souvenirs like this. Mm, going to bed now. I think today was a very lively and fun day. It was a happy day. <laughs> Thank you to the cleaner who made my bed clean. Usually when you come to a hotel, there are three to four pillows like this. Now there's the position that I always place them. <laughs> I first choose a pretty pillow that I'm going to use. Which one do you think is the best? I kind of do that too. There's always a ton of pillows on there and I immediately just nope, 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 that one. <laughs> Gotta rearrange them, man. Yes, this looks the best for me too. Now, then I use this as my main pillow. Then I, and this is kind of cute. So I'll take this out. Like this. Usually there are different kinds. Hey, buddy. I have two on both sides. And this is the main pillow. Actually, he has one on both sides. That is. Don't ask me to. <laughs> two on both sides would be two on this side, two on that side. One on both sides is one. And this is the main pillow. Then this is my squad. pillow squad. My pillow uh, squad, I like it. Like this, and I use that. The rest of the pillows, I'm not a person who likes to hug it all or something when I sleep. But if I feel empty, I place it by my side or hug it. Or I have another option, too. I do that as well with a bunch of the additional ones. If I'm, uh, Sometimes I like to spread out on a bed. Like when I stay somewhere and my husband isn't with me, I just spread out. Other times I'm like, hmm, I kind of miss having a person next to me. And I put them. I just put it there kind of so I kind of feel like having that pressure or that mass on your side. Or I have another option too. Do you mind? Sorry. <laughs> the bed is a bit spacious. My feet uh, don't stick out because it's long. But the bed is too short and my, feds, my feet stick out. I do this. Like this. And I pull this pillow all the way up. This is my second squad. <laughs> I like that formation. That's a good formation. I'm getting a call from a trash dumpster company. Hang on. All right. So if you want to know the going rates for trash dumpsters, they start at like $450 for two weeks and go up to 1000 depending on how big. There's a lot of stuff in my grandma's house that needs to go bye-bye. Love you, Grandma. Okay, this is my second squad. I do like this formation. This is a very cozy-looking formation. 
He's what he thinks is I already did this today. I'm going to sleep like this. It's not bad. All I have to do is turn off the lights. I already got ready to sleep before I turned on the lights. Uh, so let me turn off the bathroom lights first. That's how that works. <laughs> well, I'll show you until the moment I fall asleep, AD. Thank you so much for today. I'll sleep well. And I have lessons tomorrow. Vocal lesson and a dance lesson. Okay, so he's taking lessons while there as well. I'm going to learn tomorrow. I will learn from teachers who are not Korean. So I'm looking forward to it. Because, yeah, Yo-sang did that as well. At least the uh, dance portion. They do... ATs does a lot of thanking of everyone. <laughs> everyone. They think they're... They think their staff a lot. They think the people who do the um, cats are getting after it. They uh, think people who set up stages for them. They think people who made their bed. They think Ateeny for watching the vlog and going around with them. Very very fun. Very good to see. Helps helps remind me to be thankful and to verbally thank people more and more often. There's a lot of people who don't get. Don't get thank yous as much as they deserve. So, all right, including people who pick up your trash. So I'm going to call another company <laughs> about dumpster rental Wednesday. If you, don't, if you don't see me around on Wednesday, I am handling all sorts of 70-year-old trash. Wish me luck.